give me funny feedback. So do this right. And I'm also going to get on the website with some videos of live demonstrations. You'll be able to see those after the fact. People who didn't come here will be able to see them after the fact. I plan to add to it. So while I might only have 45 minutes and no internet access, I can still show you this stuff and people who aren't even here. But right now the equipment is not cooperating with me. Okay. <laughs> you, uh, Jen, a lot of you people have noticed me and some of the other cameras taking around the area here today. Uh, all of this is going to be readily accessible online probably by Monday night. The site is www.timsvideo.com. That's www.timsvideo.com. E-I-E-O.com, that's TimsVideo.com, so what I've taken should be live. Jerry Rose might not get because I have to get information to post, but everything else here at the TLI should be ready to go. Let's give this guy a round of applause. Postmaster anymore. We expect that. 
But now we only have four icons up here. In case you missed it the first time, let's see it again. It's not up there, or it's not posted. There he is. I refresh the screen. But the second button, I can have a choice to refresh the screen. But here we go. Now we have the setting icon. What does this mean? That means that Toastmasters, the Toastmaster meeting, the special rights to head is for that meeting. Like for instance, when there's an X here, he can take the mouse off the board. But he wasn't Toastmaster, he couldn't do it. <clears throat> Alright, if you're not going to tell him about it, quick. It's done. Now let's look at another agenda. The one from 7 to 12. Pharaoh is not Toastmaster, but this, he doesn't see this head of it. There's nobody signed up at the moment, there's no blah blah, notice he can't edit it anyway. So the idea here is to show you that the Toastmaster has special rights and meetings for which he's Toastmaster, but only at Toastmaster. So now let's sign out this track room. Now we're back on the screen, back on the outside of this. I'll pick member log, and this time I'll log in as the treasurer. I'm going to stop it right here. I apologize for the acoustics, and that's not going to do it in the circumstances, but let's make sure we get the essential points I was trying to cover here. We started out showing the website the way it looks for somebody coming in off of the web, but with someone who has no rights at all. Then we signed on as a particular member who happened to be the postmaster. If you recall, there was a little, there were five icons up at the top showing right with the agenda. If you're familiar with the agenda, you know what those are, but those of you who aren't, four of them are always there for anybody who can see the agenda. It's all the members. There's a fifth one that's using a pencil, which says, this guy can edit this particular agenda. The guy who was signed on had those rights because he was the Toastmaster for that particular meeting. Now we, then we took him away as Toastmaster. He's not Toastmaster anymore. And then we noticed that the rights changed. That edit thing went away. So Toastmasters have the rights to edit the agenda for the particular agenda they are Toastmasters on. There's no other time. The rest of the time, we're just another member. We're about to move on to another role, the role of treasurer. There's a late-breaking feature that came out around, I think it was around March of this year, just before dues time, to help treasurers collect dues. And there's a new screen that pops up. You're going to see that in a moment when the treasurer signs on. So let me restart. Now I'm going to simulate that I am which I don't have his actual password. I don't. I'm sorry? I can try to do that. Would that be more effective? I think yeah. you, it would be yeah. much more effective. Yeah. All right, we're game. That's, that's real easy to do. All right. Like I said, we try to do this live. And likewise, after the meeting, go ahead and do the week guide and everything you want. So if you want to get to the point where we're doing this right, maybe you can show people videos of this stuff and they can learn it from home. Okay, <clears throat> let's see if I can keep up here. What's going to happen now is the treasurer is going to sign in. But the tricky part about this is there's your own password now. Let's get a show of hands. How many of you are familiar with using free toast toast? Bunch of you? Okay. How many of you are looking at doing Greenfield side? Brand new side, don't even have the website up yet. Okay. Sorry, people, I'm going to throw you under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a link later. If you've got the handout, you'll see a web page. It has a whole bunch of links on it, some of which will be useful to you. But since you're in the minority here, I'm sorry, I'll go ahead and try to do what I can for the other people who are. Have the side up and it. it will do you some good, it just won't do you any good right now. Your first problem is get the side up, obviously. Can you tell them how to get a free Toast Toast site? Okay, I'll do that very rapidly. All you're doing, there is a particular web page that you go to. It's called ToastmastersClubs.com. The website that's mentioned on the uh, I'm sorry? Uh, or, .org. You're correct. Sounds, sounds correct. It's correct on the handout that you have. Okay. If you look at the website on the handout, it will be pointing to that page, I should say. Now, once you get there, there's a place on the screen. Let's see if I can get the live window to the page long enough to get this. I have to trust the internet, so I have to try to go do this. How about this? I'll go through motion.
know that the Toastmasters clubs that site. Pop up for a second. Yes, I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great, great. We wouldn't, we wouldn't want to miss this. Technical okay. training is one of the hardest things to do on the internet with this stuff. Yeah. It's uh, one of the more challenging speeches. Mm -hmm. Well, one way or another, we'll bumble through it. And here we're on the right page. Now, my screen resolution is such that it looks funny at the moment. If you catch me pointing at my screen instead of that one, throw something out. Yeah. Now, you can see part of the screen. I'm going to scroll down and get the area.
like the way someone coming in off a Google search would see it. We've seen it the way a normal member sees it, and the way a normal member sees it, if they are Toastmaster and have the right to attend a particular meeting. Now we're going to see it as the treasurer, but I'm going to use the administrative password. And in that way, I don't need to know their password. But I can still sign on as an experience the site the way that they do. So if they call them, Rob, he's doing a strange thing to me? Fine. We can get in there and see exactly their footsteps. So that's the next thing that will happen on this video, is you sign in with the administrative password. Okay, walk us through it. I think you got the sound off. I'm sorry? I think you have the sound off. Oh, no, I got this off on purpose. You got to look at me now. So now notice here, it's going to show you a section of the web of the page. It's going to scroll up. Notice this new item here. I'm going to put it on my screen again. You're supposed to throw something at me. Here we go. Notice this? You didn't see that before. No other members going to see this. The treasurer will. And, of course, the administrator faking to be the treasurer will. So that's important. And I think I clicked through on this thing and showed the actual page. Or maybe I skipped past it on this particular version. You have no idea how many dates I did this. You think it's bad now. You should have seen version one. Yeah, so anyway. Wait, one page. Wait, one access, one site to the treasurer. How do you, when you're building it, how do you give him access to that special information? You designate him as the treasurer in the membership management card. Okay. We'll get to that eventually. Uh, that's something that's going to come from uh, the administrative council. We haven't gotten the administrative card of this yet. It's a a little bit further along, we'll show you how to sign on to the administrator. So, of course, you have the administrative password, and then we'll see other things become available. I don't think this video will actually show us going through all those different things. But yeah, the membership management section is where you go. There's a section where you say, okay, and identify all of your officers. The treasurer is one of them. Whoever identifies treasurer will get this particular characteristic. If you don't happen to have anybody identified as treasurer, that makes you out of luck because even the administrator won't be able to do it because it uses their information. All right, let's get back to it. I'll try to marry around home in my video here again. Now we've seen the world from the treasurer perspective. None of the fact that he's the treasurer, he doesn't have any other special rights beyond the member. Now we're going to sign on as the VPE. That's right. That's right. What VPE now? And again, we're using the administrative password. So even though we're not Peter Parker, we can still see the website the way he will see it. The biggest single difference you're going to see is on the agendas. VPEs can create agendas. They can delete agendas. And of course, they can edit all agendas. So that's the big difference you're going to see here. If we from the agendas, he's pointing out that there's a new, I'm going to screen again. So is it create new? Yes, we see that because we're VPE right now. We're signed on as the person who holds that role. And now we scroll down past all that stuff. Now those are seven boxes up there, not just the four. The four leftmost ones are the ones member sees. The four leftmost ones in the sixth are with the pencil. That's the one you see if you're a Toastmaster for meeting your Toastmaster for it. And now since this guy is VPD, he, he sees them all. That's the garbage can icon. He can throw the rest of this particular if he can throw this particular agenda away or he can go and make a brand new one here.
That's it. And they, they just like call you up. Like for instance, for this, you can't see it at the moment, but for Woodstock, we've got a page in there for the town of Woodstock, for McHenry County, and for the rest of the country, that's a free place to move to meet right now. And I think now five work went into them, but they're there. Well, they make custom pages and they can serve a lot of useful purposes. And later on, I'll show you what some other clubs have done using them. Floor messages, round match. The floor messages, that's kind of handy. There's a different floor messages. Some of them with no rights to the site to see, and then there's one that never sees. And you know, James had a problem with every meeting. The file manager, you can upload things to your site. And I'll show you a good example of that on another club site here in town, actually. If you, any of you guys know, know Wayo? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. You're Wayo. You, did you start at the club? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you're familiar with Wayo. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, they, they've got a lot of good stuff in the money for that. Any agenda settings? Yeah, it's an agenda. This one. I could do twice 45 minutes on that alone. This one is there something else. Yeah. Introduce management. I didn't show it to you, but that's right. Business there. Yes, sir. So, one question on the agendas. If you have a slot set and you put a person's name on the agenda, does that mean that that person's actually going to have to go to uh, CMI? There is no connection whatsoever <laughs> coming out of this to Toastmasters International and Trust, but that's a good thing. But because of that, though, you can get by with some things you wouldn't get by with otherwise. Like, for instance, if you want, like, say, at Woodstock, we want people to be able to sign on to the agenda with a minimum amount of class. But we really don't have our members. But, you know, like, it's not like we're going to be struck by divine lightning if we call them members on the membership roster. So we get the convenience of them to be able to sign up as members, but it doesn't imply anything in terms of Toastmasters International. No, no feedback at all. They do use some value on the way in. Now, when you go to request a club, that's where they want the number. And if it's not a legitimate number, they're going to stop it. Just for grins, I put in one.toastmasterclubs.org. Club number one. We're still in business, and so is club number two. Club number three is right next to But if you give them the even fake number, that, that's one place where they have some information from Toastmasters in the national value. That's right. All right, let's finish the loop. There's not much more left on this. But the point of all of this, there's all kinds of documentation out there for the free post of the site. They're all over. But where there seemed to be a really big void was on things about the administration, showing how you use the administrative powers on the site. That's why I focused on this here. I figured I could point you whether or not there existing stuff for the rest. And again, if you have a particular way you would like to see this done, that's what the feedback forms are.
Somebody has to do it regularly. So that's right. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. And that would make sense that I'm going to do it or somebody else. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything yeah. wrong. Well, what's, your, what's, your, oh yeah, what's your club does? That's your business. Okay. It doesn't, the site doesn't enforce anything. There's nothing from Toastmasters International Affairs. So it's up to you. And I have a lot of things with clubs don't have for present. That's not that's the answer to your question. Um, there's, 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 there's no formal responsibility in the site that's been forced to So it's, it's purely administrative control. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, the admin, oh, someone has to do it with administrative rights. No one who doesn't have administrative rights can do it. But since you can share the administrative track and the administrative ID, then more than one person can do it. All right, to answer your question, the website is just an addendum or a tool to get an agenda out for members to make it sign up easily. And if you could go back to what you used to do manually and think of this as a tool or an aid to help you do your job, that's probably the best way to look at it. Like the site administrator might be your club secretary if he's web savvy, it might be the club, uh, you know, some clubs that designate us a webmaster. But whoever has, whoever has the talent, yeah, whoever has got the talent for IT should do this. Yeah, that's right. But I, I wouldn't say well, talent for IT. It's more than your average member knowing. I mean, most people aren't going to know how to do that. That's the purpose right. of the training. But if they do, I, I don't think it requires really extraordinary knowledge of having the IT. It doesn't. Anyway, so I stopped after taking the presentation. I want to show you some sites that I think have some really interesting implementations of this. Okay. Can I add one more thing? Sure. Uh, what you really want to do with web training on this, if you don't know what you're doing, ask somebody from another club, learn it, and search the internet, and just try it. You're not going to screw anything up. Too bad. Yeah, there's, there, are, there are things that you can do that are destructive. So right now, I look at all through the internet. There is all kinds of stuff out there. But on your handout, again, a reference of site that I'm assembling, where I'm putting some things that I thought were particularly useful. If you're going to train members, there's a video that was put out by Bo Bennett himself, the guy who's behind Free Toast Post. It's an hour long, but it goes through everything a member would need. It doesn't cover any of the administrative stuff. It might be hard to get people to sit still for that video, but that video exists. There's a link to it on the site that is mentioned on your handout. So start from that site, and you can find a way to a lot of useful things on this, plus any more videos that I put together that will hopefully let better audio. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to turn this to the group. So I have someone here. Maybe we've all might be back in the room. Yeah. OK. We'll make sure you get one before we leave. Yes. I have a question about setting up meeting with the meeting agenda about the time of the grant plan. So it's really kind of difficult. Yeah, it's kind of about matches. Well, if you got an hour and if you want three speeches and you're trying to uh, but that's cover a, it off. Right, but that, that's the problem anyway. I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with this site. I you know. know. Yeah, you're trying to put 50 pounds of flour on a five pound site. It's not going to work. And the, 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 it lets us at least show the time on the agenda, that's useful. Now getting back to the agenda. The agenda, I've given a short script. I can spend much more than the amount of time a lot of just on the agenda alone. So I'm, what I'm going to do basically, I want you to come back this time, maybe give me about a week, I'll try to make some kind of probably a couple of videos talking about how you can take the agendas, what you can do for maybe inserting new roles, maybe make an entirely new agenda for say a contest or a special event. We'll do that then. But that was something I thought I had to throw over more because it would have eaten the entire presentation plus. So that's just a decision I have to make. Call what you will. That's right. Yeah. Well, not even that because you choose your default or you choose any other agenda. And so if you have a three person speaker agenda, you choose that. 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 You but my, th my experience helping clubs with this, this is the thing that has scratched their heads and you know, the most. Yeah, no. Right, yeah, you understand that? It took a long time to yeah. catch up. Right, yeah. And there, are, and there are clubs that basically say, hey, look, I at least have a internet presence. I, they have contacts that they can get. I keep track of my members and things like that. So 
Uh, some clubs are simply going to maintain their old agendas. They just like it. One club I visited Surrey and Governor this past week is, hey, we like our agendas the way they are. We're not going to use it on the site even if we get one. So. Power copy or something like that. Yeah. So. Or something like that. Right. Use as much of it or as little as you want. But it's available for free. It gives you a presence on Google with a minimum amount of fuss. So if nothing else, you get it for that. Yes, sir. Hey, Jim, I really like the, the aspect that we have on our agendas where we can know who's in and who's out for us. Upcoming meetings really help with the plan. Right. Yeah, and that's, a, that's available on any agenda. Let me go and uh, I don't know what it's got to say now. I was probably going to try to start another video. I was on here, so unless it's my school in the position, I'm going to have a hard time getting down to where I can grab this. This really had an option for scroll bars inside, scroll bars inside, scroll bars. Yeah, that's, you just got to get used to it. Yes. It's not like close to this. Yeah, it's about it's about the screen resolution with the monitor. And right, 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 right. Oh yeah, that, that's what that's adjustable to it. Right. Now getting back to Woodstock Club. Let me get on the meeting agenda. So we're gonna write on the job of girl. She's a regular member. So I'll sign on this because the meeting agenda. So this is the way the regular member see in the gym at this time. Just go down to the bottom. And at the very bottom of every agenda was always meeting notes. If you put something in there, everybody, this is visible to everybody. Yes. But yeah, but yes. Now there are parts of the site that everybody can see, it's for profiles or places where you can write things where the officer might share. Now you see that the meeting notes now you have for the JRC won't make the meeting. I think back out. So you log out and then log out to somebody else that they don't see you in That's right. I think my question is Sandy, but yes, you can go ahead and uh, impersonate them as it's necessary to make things go. Like for instance, if the VBE has administrative rights, a lot of clubs have a VBE says, you're doing this wrong. And if that happens, great. They can enforce it. They can just put people in there. It would be nice to let them know. And otherwise, you can't really complain if they don't show up yet. It's been known to happen. But let me go back up on this. I guess I'll have to scroll. That you have some custom for each one of these clubs on top of this. There, there's, this was a standard thing, all that stuff that's up at the top of the Woodstock yeah. you know, agendas. That's something we added. Also, that's been a freestanding form. People put it on the back side of their agenda. Okay. And so putting it on here is just the right size, taking up one page. So when you print this out, it's pretty good. This shows it's on one side and it's on the other side. Right. Leaving my cheap little home printer, I'll put it double sided nowadays. All right. Yeah. You can say some big that way. Yeah, let me scroll I never saw that part. Yeah, there's lots of things that can be done there. Unfortunately, I can't show you many different examples because, again, you have to be a member to be able to see this. And so I can't show you what other sites have done. I can't where people are at. Okay. And now, of course, since I'm the video sign as the VPD and the administrator, I see all the different functionality. I'm just taking this and I'm trying to make it go across. Oh, yeah, there we go. See the little, uh, the little black down here? You can email a meeting agenda to everybody. There's a setting on the site of the administrative council about how many different people uh, you can send it out easily from here. About five minutes. Okay. Does the secretary have it on the right to send out email? No. The secretary, well, secretary has the same rights as any other member has. Okay. Not, yeah, right. not to send out those agenda. Those, those, four, those four items on the left are there for everybody. Okay. Well, the responsibility of the secretary is to send all but then that's the thing. Now you can have email, which makes it easier for the people to do it, and we'll still do it. But they don't send it to the secretary. I don't interpret that as an external correspondence. If it's within the club, I would think it has to be within the club. You know, what was there? You know, now you know that now you have email, so that may be difficult to do. Okay. So we're going to send it up to the community now? Yeah, we're going to send it up What you can do is use the former member and guest email addresses. Okay. You can, you can email a link to the agenda to them. Okay.
Okay. Real quick. Yes, Jim. One of the best ways to use this is uh, if you're second, I don't know if there's a way to do minutes on the site from last meetings, but if you meet every two weeks, start out the, uh, the off meeting week with the minutes and the next meeting week with a partially filled out agenda, you know, and then that way you know which one's going on. You know, you get the agenda filled out one week, the minutes the next week, and it kind of keeps you into a nice routine. If I have a good choose with minutes and they're signing in every different way, just bear in mind that it's very easy to store pages, store documents on the site with the document manager, and that's something that I'll do a little video on. So keep your eyes peeled for that. There will be updates to the site as identified on your handout. That's one of the focus on the agenda. I'll show you that. And that's only the PDF, right? I'm sorry? That's not in the word back or you that. That's the PDF. Uh, no, I, I, the, I believe the uh, doc, documents, the doc, file docs. If you, file tell, if you tell it, to, well, the file manager can handle any type of document. Right. But bear, but bear in mind, of course, not everybody who wants to download can handle every type of document. So PDFs right. is the safest thing to do. So PDF. Okay. Yeah. PDF's the best way to go. Exactly. It'll run any platform. It'll run any platform. So yeah, PDF is the safest thing. So something that we're talking about, they might not have, but they're not going to do something like it. Oh. All right, give us your web address again of where we can get the training from, and we have to wrap it up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can wrap it up pretty quick, but again, make sure you take home your handout, the questions for the site. The site is not a lot on the site right now, but there's some stuff that's useful to do. You might have stuff I did not present today. There will be more, in particular, there will be more about the agendas. There will be more about the document. You have to get it. Bear in mind, whatever you think of the presentation today, bear in mind that I have to stop a lot of stuff in the floor. Uh, no, I'm just saying we need to wrap it up, so okay. let's get our room facilitator back up and... Okay. Thank you, Mr. Facilitator. Let's give Jim a hand. He tried it. <laughs> couple, couple, of remarks, couple of remarks for evaluative purposes. This type of speech is one of the hardest to give, especially if you don't have web access. This is a very technical topic. So please forgive him if he if it didn't really work out as well as he would have liked. But please test the site, look at it, see what's going on. I apologize if I've kind of been jumping in, but I was trying to give you a little bit of a hand with it. So again, one more round of applause for a good call.